guys welcome back to my kitchen today I decided I'm going to show you guys how I make curry fish so if as usual you want to see all me whip up this thing come on and let's do this now cuz it's the Indian oh. two snapper fish right now guys you can use any kind of fish you have it doesn't matter but since me have snapper in my fridge I eat mega use but I already wash it with vinegar and some lemon juice season it up with salt and pepper that's all you need make sure when you put the salt and pepper on you open up the inside of the fish and you put the salt and pepper on I the have inside some as well carrots here pimento seed one scotch bonnet pepper some okra tomatoes sweet pepper and a half a chopped onion now you also are gonna need to that garlic a little bit of salt of course your curry powder olive oil to get the dish going dry thyme or regular thyme fresh thyme and I'm gonna use fish seasoning and I'm going to add a little bit of vinegar now everybody always asks me why I put vinegar for my food I'm gonna tell you why vinegar is not only good for your body it cleanses your system but it also kick up your dish a wicked flavor all right so that's why i always put vinegar on my meat at the end of the dish i'm gonna add about a teaspoon of butter or margarine if you have it so come all on right, let's now, put guys, this thing so together here we go. this is the beginning of how i cook my curry fish right so we go ahead and add all of my vegetables in including including the okra all right so you want to make sure everything is cooked and then to that I'm going to go ahead and add some garlic one teaspoon of chopped garlic I'm going to also add some vinegar you can have curry without put vinegar in it one teaspoon of vinegar and I'm also going to add a teaspoon of dried thyme and again if you have the fresh thyme you go ahead and you put that in okay so what I'm going to do next I'm going to let everything come together for about 10 minutes on low to medium heat and when this veggie is like cooked I'll come back and add my curry, my curry fish in and show you how I put everything together so see you back in about All right, guys, 10 minutes now my vegetables is just right it's not overcooked and it's not undercooked I just want to make sure that my carrot is like halfway done right I want to show you guys the curry is on the fish make sure before you put the fish into the pot with the vegetables you season it up with your curry so make sure the curry is on the fish do not throw the curry directly into the pot with the seasoning put the fish in here and again guys I'm using the snapper fish and you can use just about any fish you have in your okay, kitchen I have my fish season here I'm just gonna sprinkle just a little bit on here my fish season to finish up my dish and give it flavor if you have butter you go ahead and add it if you have margarine you go ahead and add it okay I'm just gonna put a little bit of water in here Not too much water maybe less than a half a cup of water all right and again my stove is on medium low I'm gonna cover this up I'm gonna let it steam for 20 minutes and when 20 minutes come around it will finish so I'm going to show the way it looks like okay, in 20 minutes. Okay guys, so my fish is ready. It's been cooking for 20 minutes on low, medium heat. So that is what it looks like right now. So this is what it looks like right now, ready to eat. So alright guys, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go ahead and put it on a plate and let you guys see what it looks like on a plate. So we can't eat then, right? So here so goes guys, back. curry fish all done with okra and some carrots in it and green peppers it is delish give it a try let me know how you guys like it don't forget to like and subscribe tell me what you want to see me cooking next time in my kitchen as always guys once again from my kitchen to yours enjoy oh,